Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we have another TechBiz tutorial using Python programming. Uh, we're going to be using some lists on this. Uh, the user is going to be able to uh, put items into the list um, as many as that they want. So there's no limit for that. So it's going to be user input. And we're going to be using some conversions and things like that, comparing lists, um, updating lists, taking things out and replacing it. We're going to do this by making a simple little start to a DNA to RNA converter or RNA to DNA. So it's a little bit of some bioinformatics. And we'll get this thing rolling. Okay, so I'm going to type import OS because I want to use a clear screen feature later on. And you don't have to use that if you don't want to, but I'm putting it on mine. Okay, then I'm going to start off with my first... Uh, variable so nucleic acid is one word so I use am actually also a biology education major so this kind of technology education infotech digital media graphic design um, computer science and that stuff is one of my passions and biology is another one so this kind of lets me go back to some of my old stomping grounds so we'll start off here Nucleic acid is equal to input, and I'll type enter D to convert to DNA, or R to convert to RNA. And this is just going to um, only convert one side of the strand. All right, so we won't do base pairs. We actually have an assignment in the class I'm teaching where uh, they'll be making this a change to this program to make it calculate the base pairs uh, and convert those two so uh, this one will kinda get you started with it anyway so enter D to convert to DNA or R to convert to RNA so we're gonna let the people choose which they want to convert to okay then underneath that I will say if nucleic acid dot lower so that way if they type upper or lowercase d or r it won't matter if nucleic acid dot lower is equal to equal to lowercase r I'm just gonna start with the RNA and then what I'll do is I'm gonna make a empty list that we're gonna be adding to alright so DNA is equal to and I have those on there, so that'll be good. The, my empty brackets, that's my empty list. Then we'll say data is then going to be equal to input. Press enter to add a DNA nucleal base. All right. I, my original program, I had it press Y and then I got confused when I was entering Y every other time and I just want to enter hit enter before I can type it so that'll probably make more sense to you as you start working on this program and entering in data alright so DNA is equal to an empty list data is input by the user and we're good with that oh you know what I should also say I'm also gonna put in here enter exit to exit so that way if they type in anything and hit enter they can leave or if they type in the wrong thing alright so we have that on there then I'm gonna use a while statement so I will say while data is equal to blank since I'm just having them hit enter up here while data is equal to blank then we'll say here that nucleobase which is going to be my next variable is equal to input and I'll type in directions here enter A for adenine C for cytosine G for guanine or T for thymine so in this one we're converting to RNA so we need to enter in DNA nucleobases 
which it'll then convert. All right, so we have those choices right there. That's what the people can type in. That's going to be printed out. So that's nucleo base for that. All right, then next is we need to be able to append the list. So I will say, sorry, DNA dot append. So I'm going to append this list up here. And what am I going to append it with? I'm going to append it with nucleobase dot upper with parentheses. I want my printout to have capital A, C, G's, and T's. So I'm going to say whatever they type in, whether it's upper or lowercase, it's going to come out uh, as output is uppercase no matter what. So DNA.append, I'm appending that list with whatever they type for their input for nucleobase, and it's going to be uppercased. So we have that going right there. Then I'll go back here and add another variable since I'm in a while loop. I'll give them a choice to either stay in the while loop or to leave. So I'll say data is equal to input, then parentheses, press enter to add another DNA nucleobase enter exit if you are finished alright so that looks pretty good right there now the next thing we need to do is we need to get out of that while loop right there and once they're done entering everything we need to uh, start making a list of RNA All right, so here's how we will do this um, I'll start off by making my RNA list. So I'm going to say RNA, since my list was called DNA, I'll just call my RNA list RNA. And if I say RNA is equal to DNA, I'm making a copy of this list, but whenever I change DNA or try to convert it to RNA, these two are going to change, and I don't want that to happen. I want them to be two separate lists. All right, so I'm going to say RNA is equal to DNA with the brackets and a colon. That's going to slice this so that way they're two separate entities alright so RNA is equal to DNA so that means DNA is its own thing and then when I start converting RNA it's not going to screw up DNA anything in my list on there alright so RNA equal to DNA sliced then I'll put a while statement I'll say while there is a capital T in my RNA list while that's happening then what I want to do is say RNA back to my RNA list RNA dot index so inside of that RNA list it's going to be looking for every time that there is a letter T in there a capital T and then on the outside of this little statement I have I'm going to say is equal to you because RNA you switch uracil for thymine alright so while there's a capital T in RNA it's going to go through that list every single time if I said if it would only do that for the first T it would only change the first T to you and the rest it would stay the same Instead, I want to say while that T's in there, then it'll keep looping through until it's done. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. All right, so that's our first section there. That's if we want to convert uh, to RNA. Next part is what if we want to convert RNA to DNA? So I'm going to say if nucleic acid dot lower is equal to equal to a lowercase d then here's what's going to happen we're going to make a list an empty list of RNA we'll call it RNA we'll just keep these all the same it'll make things easier for us at the end and then we'll say data is equal to input same as above right press 
enter to add an R and A nucleobase. The only thing that we're doing now is we're just switching DNA to RNA in all these cases and vice versa. So press enter to add an RNA nucleobase. Enter exit to exit. We got that there. Then we'll put on here while data is equal to equal to nothing. In other words, when they just hit enter, nucleobase is equal to input. Make sure I type that right. All right, nucleobase is equal to input. And then we'll type in enter A for adenine. C for cytosine, G for guanine, or T for, sorry, we're doing RNA right now, getting ahead of myself, or U for uracil. All right, so we have that there on line 18. All right, then we'll hit enter, and we'll say data is equal to input, and we'll Type the same thing we did above. Press enter to add another RNA nucleobase. Enter exit if you are finished. And of course I forgot to put in my quotation marks. Don't forget those. All right, so we got nucleobase, then we got data. All right, so we're set with that right there. Now we need to do the old appending. So RNA dot append. We're changing that RNA list every time they're adding something new, a new letter. It's adding it to that list, and we'll say RNA dot append then we're going to append it with the nucleobase variable upper because we want it to be all capital letters rna dot append nucleobase upper okay then underneath that we could say data is equal to input oops I tell you what, I think I got these ones here kind of goofed up. What I should do cut that out. Alright, so nucleo base and then I got my append. Then we wanted to ask if we want to enter more on that, right? There we go. So data is right there. Okay, and then we can go back over to this side, and we'll say DNA is equal to the RNA list, sliced of course. Then underneath that we're going to use another while statement, so this time we'll say while there is a capital U in our DNA or in our yeah DNA list. <clears throat> Darn it. While U is in our DNA, then we will say DNA with the brackets. We'll type in DNA dot index parentheses quotation marks. We're looking for every instance where there is a U in there and when that happens every time we see a U we're going to replace it with the T we'll set it equal to the letter T alright underneath that now is back to that if you did the import OS at the top of yours you'll do this if you chose not to you won't do this next part but we'll type in OS dot 
system and then we're going to clear the screen so when we're done with everything it's going to clear everything and then we'll get our report all right then we can say something like print here is your bioinformatical report bioinformatics report then I will say print just do a blank line then we can type print your DNA sequence and then right under that that will say print DNA so we'll print that DNA list then we'll print another blank line then we'll print your RNA sequence and we'll say print RNA alright and so that should be everything that we need for this program to work alright a lot of little things going on so we'll give it a little test here enter D to convert DNA or R to convert to RNA so I'm just gonna hit D enter to enter an RNA nucleobase, I'll hit enter. I'll enter an adenine. Enter to enter another one. I'll enter one of each. So here's this. I'll put a G in this time. Enter to return. Uh, this time I will put in a U. And we'll just do one more just for kicks and greens. All right. Let's see. So now we'll say enter exit if you're finished. Or I could type in anything, but I'm just exit. Then down here it says here's your, that represents it would be a clear screen if it was in my command prompt. Here's your bioinformatical report, your DNA sequence, ACGTC, if I was going to convert that strain to an RNA strain, um, ACG converts the U to that. All right, then again, if I want to go the other way, I would say uh, this time let's convert to RNA press enter to enter a DNA nuclei, nucleobase and then we'll just say um, A and then we'll go T and then we'll say C and then we'll say T just so we have two T's so you can see that it works for multiple times alright so we have that press enter to add another one exit if you're finished so we'll type in exit alright and then you'll see right here both T's that switch to use alright so that's a, a way to make a simple way to take information convert it uh, we use lists we made a copy of a list we sliced a list so we can make changes we appended a list and we went through and looked for data in a list and changed it with something else uh, if you want a new challenge like I said, my students are then going to be uh, having to make the other side of the DNA sequence. So if they wanted to um, say, here's your DNA sequence, here's the, the base pair, you know, then this would be T-A-G-A -A down here. So how would you find a way to convert that? And you have to be careful because uh, you don't want to end up with uh, just two letters as your base pairs. And you'll kind of know what I mean as you start playing around with that. But see what else you can do to make this program better. It's kind of fun to play around with. And cool to see how you can incorporate Python programming into other content. In this case, biology and genetics. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Maybe learned something or uh, found a way to improve it. If you did, just shoot me a message and let me know what you did. Be excited to see it and we'll talk to you later.